Hello everyone, welcome to the next installment of Kyra Tutorials. Today we're going to do a basic introduction of Adobe After Effects CS6. Now when I tried to edit, I didn't really know too much about Adobe. I tried to look up tutorials and that didn't really help me out. So I had to uh, ask for my friend's help and uh, he helped me out. But now I understand it and I'm going to help you out. So now this is Adobe right here. Over here you have your effects and presence such as Magic Bullet Looks, which is a third-party plugin that you're going to have to install. Um, you can look up on tutorials on how to do that, but Magic Bullet Looks, you drag it onto the clip, edit it, um, makes the clip look wonderful. Yeah, real smart motion blur. This is used for trick shotting episodes. Um, really nice effects. You have Twixter, which I did on my last installment. But um, this is the composition right here. This is where you edit your clip. This is where uh, you can. This is where uh, all your clips are at when you drag it on, whatnot. I'm gonna show you later on. Uh, this is where you have your clips. Drag it on there. Yeah, your effects. Once you can uh, edit your effects and whatnot. But right now, I'm gonna go ahead and import effects. You can either do this two ways. You can import it right here by going to File, or you can go to wherever you have it. Now, I'm going to find a clip. I'm going to go drag this on. Just leave it, uh, wait a second. Alright. Now you just drag it on. Um, down here you have your, <coughs> your, uh, all your uh, effects right over here to the left. Over here you can turn this off and on. If you don't want to see the clip, you can also turn this off. You don't want to hear any audio. You have this from modes to, uh, these are basically overlays if you want to add another clip on top or whatever. Um, <coughs> you can uh, press LL. L first for audio levels. You can tap LL to get a waveform. This is good for syncing. Just gonna take that down. You also have your opacity. Um, you can use this when you want to start up the clip say right here <coughs> Enemy going that's the you can mess around with these settings you can also easy ease this by going by clicking the right, the right mouse button and uh, pressing easy ease or F9 Um, you can use this right here to scroll to uh, the um, <clears throat> place you want to use the effects and whatnot. You can also, excuse me, you can also drag the clip out if you don't want to use any part of these clips. You can use drag this down if you want to render a certain section of the clips. Um, okay, rendering slow. Let's go to. But you have this is where the quality is at. Uh, render the quality. If you don't have a fast computer, you can use quarter. I use full, but you can also use auto or customize it to your preferences. Also, it's the frame rate. It's the frame rate is 59.94. Make sure the frame rate over here is 59.94 as well as the composition settings. 9.94. These clips are in 1920 by 1080. Some other clips may be in 1280 by 720, but you can adjust that by um, adjusting this right here. You can also scale it by pressing S and doing that. Let's see what else we have. Yeah, we also have the uh, render settings. These are my render settings. So what you want to do is you want to press shift, go to edit, go to preferences, general, and then keep holding it, press shift, now you can stop holding it. These are my render settings right here, you can copy it, enable this, put this on too, then press ok. Now to render it, you can go to, <clears throat> you can uh, use this to render 
which section of which section of the clip you want. I'm just going to render this part right here. You can go to composition, add to render cube. Now these are my settings. Best quality, full resolution. I use this frame rate, 29.97. This does not affect the quality of the clip at all. It only cuts it down in half. So these are the settings. Now you're going to go down here, put it on H.264, enable this, format options, make sure the profile is on high, levels 5.1, BBR, one pass, press OK, enable the audio, if you don't want audio you can toggle this off, but yeah. You can also click this and put the clip to wherever you want, I'm going to put it on the desktop. I'm going to name it Toot. Now all you have to do is just render. Uh, if you like this tutorial, make sure you like, comment, favorite. Also sub to as I'll be posting out more tutorials. I uh, hope you enjoyed this. Um, yeah, Kyra out. Peace.